743 on this Thursday morning. Sally and Forster here, the Green Man. Hello. Welcome back, gentlemen. Hello. It's been a while. How's it going, guys? It's going good. It's been a while. We just we just found out a fun fact with these boys. <laughs> Can right we here. share it right off the top? Just let's go for it here. I can't see a thing. I, I thought that might have been a suit because of the green suit, but you guys were asking me which screen I should be looking at. I, I don't know. You guys, I'm blind. So how yeah. many hockey games, how many sporting events have you been to without being able to see them? Um, you know, we, I guess we've got to be in like the 60s or 70s for hockey games. Yeah. We did, we actually, we did a BC Lions game a long time ago when they were at Empire, in the, or Tempire Field there. Yeah. And, um, and they, had, like, they got us on the field to do like a contest where you, like, you put on the giant shoulder pads, the helmet. And uh, and he couldn't see anything, so I won with ease. It was fantastic. Well, yeah. You guys are on the uh, farewell tour now. You've given us so many moments over the years, so yeah. you're giving the salute to say thank you to the fans. And there's so much footage to go through, so we're just going to start rolling through. Sure, yeah. Let's yeah, let's go. Uh, and then uh, we're going to go back to 2011 with the Stanley Cup run because there were some uh, okay. great moments with you guys. Uh, boot shopping in Nashville. You guys remember this? I do. Yes. I believe uh, Riaz was with us on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, no footwear though with these these. You're hanging out with Nicole Kidman True. and Keith Urban. No big deal. Yeah, that was interesting. We tried to get to them out of the suits. We got blocked by the Nashville fans, so then we hopped in the suits and they loved us. We talked about Nicole's hair. <laughs> She's got good hair. It looks a little <laughs> shy. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, we were. Actually, I think we excited. talked about Excited. Here's Boston. Well. Here's yeah. Boston. There's, a, there's a lot that happened at Boston. Tell us about the moment you guys broke into cheers. We were on this fan bus, there was pandemonium in the city. What was the that like? The fan bus was awesome, for starters. Uh, and then, yeah, we go down to cheers, uh, and it's completely different in there. Which is a little disappointing, but it's not at the same time, because you're at Cheers, it's amazing. We started chanting, where is Norm? Because you can't have Cheers without Norm. They just, it just doesn't work. You know? Fans did not like us there, though. Yeah. You no, know, I was just yeah. going to say, you probably didn't get the warmest of welcomes. <laughs> uh, you've had a lot of, uh, well, you've had so many great experiences. It's just <laughs> amazing crowd moments. Like, just, where do you come up with the, I think I'm going to do the gyration moment here for this guy in the penalty box? <laughs> It, it, it works out a lot better when nobody can see your face. Right. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier to make a complete idiot of yourself that way. Uh, that's what we found through great research. Is that but, get, uh, what you're going to miss the most? Uh, yeah, we, we've truly enjoyed that, that's for sure. And I mean, yeah, maybe that is kind of what people will miss. I, I think the reason this has been so successful, one of the main reasons, is because we've been able to kind of walk that line where like mascots can't, they're kind of G-rated and we can kind of, we can be PG-13 if we want to get crazy with it. So. And you can talk. Well, there's that too. Mascots yeah. can't talk. Just watching some of those dance moves. Those are impressive. Those are really good. I like the washing <laughs> yeah. machine where your legs are up in the air. That was pretty good. Lots of choreography goes into that. Not a lot of people know. The people you've had the chance uh, to meet uh, all across the board, including uh, our very own Prime Minister. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, that was awesome. That was during the 2011 finals in Boston, and we're in our seat, and we have some two agent looking people with earpieces in. You have to come with us right away. Someone wants to meet you. Wouldn't say who. Uh, okay. We thought we were in trouble. We thought we were getting kicked up by security. And we get walked down and sure enough, it's Prime Minister Harper and he goes, boys, I saw you in the crowd and I wanted a photo. No. We didn't know what to say. We are just ah, we voted for you. <laughs> okay, Mr. Prime Minister, sir. Yeah, please, your security agents are terrified of us, but. Let's yeah. talk about your legacy a little bit because you are on the fa farewell tour. You, in, was it 2012 that you got in the ESPN? Yep. Hall of Fans. Yeah, that must have yeah. felt pretty cool. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, the new initiative of ESPN started to create a Hall of Fame for fans because they have Hall of Fans for everything, and uh, we were the inaugural class. We we're the only hockey people in there as of right now. There's been three years of it. They keep bring us back on the judging panel, so nice. we had to go out to Connecticut, ESPN's headquarters, and they have a nice little plaque for us there. It's pretty <laughs> sweet. That yeah, cool. coolest thing was like, like we got like total first class treatment. Like we just won it, and we we're like, oh, that's cool. We'll just go down there, maybe to Bristol for lucky. They put us down in Times Square in this hotel overlooking everything. Thing, uh, picked us up in a limo, took us to Connecticut, and uh, I was like, you guys know we're just two guys in spandex, right? All right. You're but, selling uh, a force, though. Come on. It. You'll milk it for what it's worth, oh, gentlemen. 100%. Oh, 100%. I was milking. Yeah. Hey, but you, you get back in a big way, over $100,000 that you've raised in charity. Tell us about the farewell tour. I know we're going to talk about the dates uh, coming up here, but how you've been able to make an impact. Uh, yeah, I mean, this has just been a phenomenal thing so far. It's, uh, it's given me a chance to pay tribute to a great person, a great figure in my life. Uh, about nine years ago, my grandfather passed away from kidney cancer. Hmm. And so we're going around uh, at every intermission and stuff like that, and we're taking photos, uh, donating books, 
uh, you know, signing basically anything uh, for donations for Canadian Cancer Society and uh, Kidney Cancer Research. So uh, it's, it's great that Pacific Coastal has uh, given us an opportunity to do this with the tour, and it's been going great so far. We've raised a lot of good money, and uh, we're hoping to hit about the $10,000 mark at the end of it. But uh, And the tour yeah. is, is continuing, and we have some dates and times if you want to go and see your favorite green men, by all means, hit this tour. It's uh, Cranbro Cranbrook, Comox, Campbell River Trail, Powell River, <laughs> Prince George, and then wrapping things up on March the 13th here in Vancouver, right? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, we've had a chance. Every city we're going to, they're giving us the opportunity to uh, drop the game puck at center ice. So these kids who have aspirations of playing in the NHL are being forced to take a ceremonial face off with two idiots in green. So on Saturday, we're going up to uh, Cranbrook and Sam Reinhardt, who played in the NHL this season, has to drop the puck with us. So it's kind of fun. I, and you know what's amazing? I know you can't see us, but we can literally see your stubble of get your them. beard coming through. So even though you have a costume on, you got to shave. It's early. I didn't have time to shave today. You yeah. look fabulous. So I've seen people it. People wonder why we don't do games in November. We can't do Movember in these suits. It doesn't <laughs> work. GreenMedMedia.com. That's the website. Congrats on what you've done, boys. Enjoy. Thank the you very rest. much, guys. Stay in touch. Thank you.